He doesn't force you to love him. You have a choice. Believe, love him or burn, okay? It's not a choice. It's not, he's not from forcing you. Jesus came inside of me. But don't you take it out on God, okay? God has a reason. Welcome back, everyone, to Project Nihilist. In this video, you're going to want to, well, probably bash your head off of a rock. But before we get there, let's listen to this TikToker destroy atheist callers where he forces them to answer that unanswerable question. Can you prove there is no God? The first thing I noticed is the elementary school level error in his use of there in his banner at the top. This video is like 40 minutes long, and lucky for us, it won't take that long for me to make my point. Sir, the fact that you can't prove God ain't real is proof that God is real. What the fuck did you just say? Sir, the fact that you can't prove God ain't real is proof that God is real. Read the Bible. Genesis 1-1. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You need, you need to get your head you off the You think we come man. from monkeys? You're so lost, Nemo. You need to get... What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? You think we come man. from monkeys? You're so lost, Nemo. You need to get... You're so lost, Nemo. You need to get... Get out of my... sight. Come from what your imagination. Sir, you think your parents were fish. You think your ancestors were fish. That's what we call a straw man. And without thinking too much about it, what do I have in common with Nemo? A nervous cord encased in articulated bones called vertebrae. That's about it. Other than all the other things we have in common with fish. You are literally Nemo right now. Uh, you, you believe in talking donkey and talking snake? This guy's putting it all over this fool, even with his complex question fallacies. Even though I'm cooking you right now, it's nothing compared to how you're going to get cooked by God when you don't, when you don't turn to God. Imagine. Imagine. It, it, a God that's talking about he's going to cook me? Well, listen, he doesn't force you to That's what you, you believe in? Him. Listen, he that's does what not you force believe in? you. He doesn't force you to love him. You have a choice. Believe, love him or burn, okay? It's not a choice. It's not, he's not from forcing you. You have a First choice. Of he doesn't force you to love him. You have a choice. Believe, love him or burn, okay? It's not a choice. It's not, he's not from forcing you. That old adage is known as the carrot or the stick, wherein if the reward doesn't motivate you, then I'll eat the carrot and beat your ass with the stick until you comply. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I'm not looking for love. I'm not looking. I'm not, I'm not looking to something. I love, love something. I don't know. Brother, exists. don't you want to spend it? Don't you? I'm not in my eternity? imagination. Don't hmm? you want to? Don't you want to spend an eternity in heaven with me? So why couldn't I spend eternity right here? Because it, this earth is just temporary, sir. Read the Bible. You would know this if you read the Bible. I know you've heard others probably say this before, but the idea of an eternal existence sounds like hell to me. I have a video on my channel where a woman died and said she went to heaven and the people were gathering corn and wheat in this beautiful field and they were singing. Yeah, singing while you work's not happiness. It's mental illness. What? Now, listen, atheists, prove that God ain't real or take the L and keep on scrolling, okay? That's <clears throat> as simple as that. Prove God ain't real or take the L. If you know someone who has the devil coming in them, Share this life to them so that we can get them to get God to come inside them. Hey, prove to me that you stopped cheating on your taxes. Well, you've got ledgers, balance sheets, tax returns. That doesn't prove you're not cheating on your taxes. Jesus came inside of me. Can you hear me? Are you atheist? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, are you atheist? Uh, yeah, God ain't real. Okay, prove God ain't real. There's no evidence, like at all. God gave men brains larger than dogs so they wouldn't hump women's legs at cocktail parties. And you can prove, say we prove are that. You can say prove we are the evidence. <laughs> yeah, we ain't the evidence. We ain't God ain't real. Prove that God ain't real. You're just repeating if, yourself. And if he is, he's wrong for making you cross eyed. <laughs> prove God oh, so it's a typical rude atheist prove. just wants to insult me. <laughs> So that was a little bit messed up and probably warranted. But when it comes to an inflamed asshole who's a dishonest interlocutor, why would anyone try to honestly talk to this jerk when we know exactly what's going to happen? I said, are you atheist? You said, yeah. I said, okay, prove God ain't real. Right. 
Right. Are you remembering this now? Oh, he came so deep. Yeah, he came so deep. Prove Israel, though. So that's a border of proof fallacy. That's a border of proof fallacy. Biddy Skittles can't even say burden of proof, and he's as oblivious to it as he is the use of there, there, and there. Okay, you're shifting the border of proof onto me. I already know God's real. I don't have to prove something that I already know. Are you daft? You're the one making the claim, so you've got to demonstrate it. You can't just show us one of your turds and claim it's a chocolate chip cookie. That's not how any of that works. You're oh, the one claiming. The Bible? You're the one the Bible, claiming God ain't real. So the you Bible prove was written it. by a man. It's the, it's the, it's inspired by God. Second Timothy three sixteen says all Scripture is the truth inspired by God. That means the Bible is the Word of God. God is a woman. So are you just going to shout random nonsense, or are you going to actually prove God ain't real? Are you going to open your eyes or leave them half dead like that? Typical rude atheists. Typical atheists have no morals. See, listen, if this guy was raised in a Christian household, he wouldn't be behaving like this. We're off to blame in this just too much proved that with devotion's visage and pious action, we do sugar to the devil himself. What's that mean? Spare the rod. <laughs> But since Christians, his parents are atheists, Christians are hypocrites and they're going to hell for being judgmental, period. Oh, oh, OK. Well, pro prove God ain't real, though. Fuck your daddy. Yeah. Typical rude atheist. Right. See, this is the problem I have with atheists. OK. And as a Christian, I'm used to this because we're always being mocked and prosecuted. Our beliefs are always being mocked. And there it is. The humble Christian is the one being prosecuted. I think you mean persecuted, which your book teaches you to do as a coping mechanism. How fucked up is it that this dude goes around bashing on people not in his in-group and then is totally shocked when they fight back against his fucking ignorant bigotry? Right? And atheists have no morals. They're rude and they think they're fish. This is the problem I have with you atheists. Okay? He, he couldn't have an actual conversation, discussion. He just wanted to insult me. This band of miscreants here, this very evening, interfered with a lynch mob in the performance of his duties. Because obviously somebody hurt him in life and now he hates God. Well, it's true. But sir, just because somebody hurt you, it's not a reason to hate God. Okay, things happen in life that are bad. But don't you take it out on God. Okay, God has a reason. God has a reason. Amen. Can I get some amens in the chat? It's the claw. <laughs> oh, the claw is coming at you. Oh, you're scared of the claw. You're scared of the claw. Ooh. God has a reason. Ooh. <sighs> Rude atheists. Dude's channel is called Skits and Bits, and maybe he's just pretending to be a, a jerkwad. But most of his videos on his YouTube channel are Christian-based and seem to attack atheists. And he does have some other videos. Let's, I'll go look for one just to show you. When you turn and look away, there's nothing left to say. Help me, I'm dying. That's not bad. Credit where credit is due. I'm not an atheist, you idiot! Do you believe in the Christian God? No! Well, then you're an atheist, because that's No, I'm not an God. atheist. It's called agnostic. And listen, you need to learn. And listen, you're call now you're name-calling, and that's typical of atheists. They have no Oh, my morals. God! You're the one no that morals. called me something. Uh, what did no. I call you? What did I call you? You called me an atheist. I'm not an atheist. I don't need you anymore. That's not an insult. That's just a, a lack of belief in the Christian God. No, an atheist is the lack of belief of a God. You know, Jesus, I've been thinking a lot about you lately. You oh, need no, to go back no, and learn. No, no, atheists hate Jesus. Atheists hate Jesus. We all know this. I don't hate Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Lord, come all over this live stream right now, Lord. Please help me beat these demons off. I got to sing a little worship song. Ooh. I think Jesus was a damn good dude. You tremble in Jesus, babe. And the thing is, Christians like you? You know when I'm without you, there's a black hole in my life, oh. God came so deep inside of me, OMG. You yeah, are the reason down, I don't believe down. in Jesus. And it's up to you to save me, Jesus, baby. 
Yeah, are you atheist? Yep. Why do you hate God? Just because I'm an atheist doesn't mean I hate God. Can Why I do you hate something that doesn't exist? How can I hate something that doesn't exist? Yeah, explain that to me. Explain how you can hate something that doesn't exist. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Religion has shown itself to be detrimental to civilization. Christianity, Islam, and a few others have held back humanity for millennia. It's not only held us back, it's actively regressing progress. Thirty years ago, I saw an ignorant old couple willing to let a car crash victim die because their dusty book written by fucking goat herders said blood transfusions are no-nos and killers of souls or some bullshit. So yeah, there's just no wisdom, no truth, nothing to be learned from religion, any of it, especially Christianity. It offers no hope, no guidance, no way forward for all of us. It doesn't make sense to you. So you're 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 admitting that your worldview doesn't make sense. You're admitting that you're you're a contradiction. Well, wait, How can you hate wait. something that doesn't exist? Explain that to me. Well, not all not all atheists hate God. Well, I'm talking about you, sir. Why do you hate God if, you, if God isn't real? If God isn't real, why do you hate him? That's because you don't believe in something doesn't mean you hate it. So why do you hate God? I, I don't. You said, I, don't I hate, you it. said, oh, you don't believe in God, sir? Where do you think you come from? Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, mom and dad, not some Jewish golem spell that was common practice in the mythos of the time. It will be fine. Y'all know I'm thinking of like a hundred different scenes of golems. You're making a golem. Usually takes years of magic to seep into the clay, but up here it's much faster. Evolution, you know, it came from stuff. Evolution? You think your ancestors were fish? Well, well, what So here's it? what you believe. Here's what you believe, okay? Here's what you believe. Here's what you believe. Here's what you believe, okay? You believe that one day, two rocks crashed into each other and formed a planet with oceans somehow, right? Yes, sir. And then there was a bunch of microorgasms that turned into fish. That's enough of that shit for now. If somehow you made it this far, I don't kink shame, you fucking masochist. Click all the shit, it's free, tell your friends about me, and let me know what you think in the comments after you wake up from that self-inflicted concussion.